Hi guys, good morning. I'm gonna kind of wait and see. Is anybody there? Give me a thumbs up. Good morning. It's Kimberly with Art of Fitness. As you guys start to log in. Yay, okay. Hello, hey. Hi guys. Hey Kate, right on. Okay, anyway, I'm Kimberly. I'm here, um, Art of Fitness is nice enough to be doing these classes live for you guys. We're gonna do a quick 45 minute bar class today. Um, I'll get started, I'll give you guys about 30 seconds longer to get everybody signed in. Good morning. Oh, hi, it's so fun to see everybody. Hey, I hope you guys can hear the music and everything. Okay, about 15 seconds longer, we'll get started. Everybody's kind of starting to sign in. Um, make sure that you guys have um, either maybe weights or cans. Um, if not, that's okay, you can do everything weightless today. A mat, um, a chair for the um, thigh work. Seat work we're gonna be doing on the mat. If anybody has those little bands, you can grab that. Again, we'll get started with our warm up here in a second since I only have 45 minutes today. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started. This is kind of a fun song, so I'm gonna have you guys go ahead and, hey, okay, walk out and do a wide second. Start to give me a double bounce, big reach up. Another double bounce, reach up. We'll do this one more time. And then bring your hands to your hips and start to just tap side to side. Good morning. Welcome to Art of Fitness Bar Class with Kimberly. Reach your arms out, add a big pull back as you tap. Tap and reach. We'll do this a couple more times. And then we'll start to kick it back. And we're going to go into some squats. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last time, we'll start to kick it back. Pull your heel towards your seat. Kick it back. And then as you guys are signing in, like I said, you're gonna need some kind of padding, even if it's a beach towel, a couple beach towels, a chair. Give me a few more here. We'll get into your squats to get your heart rate up, okay? Last four, last three, last two. Here we go, squat, stand it up, squat, stand it up. Really the only time in bar class where you stick that booty out behind you. So get warm, but really stick it out and then Pressure your little hips forward, down and up. We'll just do this 15 more times, and we're gonna go straight into your push-ups and weight work. As you guys are at home over the next several weeks, still probably, you know you can always do push-ups. You do 50 to 100 today, you're gonna stay in really good shape. All right, I'm so happy to have you guys here. Give me a couple more. Hopefully your heart's starting to pump. A couple more times, and I'm gonna have you guys turn into um, if you need padding, come on down for push-ups. I think you can see me, yeah. Okay, so from here, you're gonna drop down and up. I'm gonna be banging out 20 full range. Down, big push. Down, big push. You know you can modify it on your knees. Okay, just keep it nice. Avoid letting your booty drop. That's gonna give you, keep going. Down, exhale up. Down, exhale up. So if your booty drops, that's gonna add pressure on your low back. Keep your good form, maybe without me there, rolling your hips up and under. Give me a few more. Last five. Down, big push. Down, big push. Down, big push. Breathe through it, you guys. Keep going, no cheating. Down, big push. Last time, go ahead and take a stretch. Reach your booty up, and then come back up. I'm gonna have you guys flip over again. We're gonna kind of slide into this a little bit quicker today so we can get everything in. Stack your hands underneath your shoulders and give you a little time here. Lift your seat, bring your up cage back, squeeze your booty. Bend, unbend, bend, unbend, bend, unbend, bend, bend, bend. So you're just bending your elbows directly back behind you for your reverse push ups, getting into the backs of your arms. Keep going. You can shake out your wrists as often as you need to as you work through this. You've got 20 to finish. Let's see who's signing in. Keep going, you guys. 15 more. Hey, everybody. Down, down, down. Keep going. Down, up, down, up. Last 10. That's all I'm asking. Down, down, three, 
four, five, six, seven. A little bit of a stretch after this. All right, cross your legs. Roll your wrists out. Stretch, stretch. Go ahead and pop up. Take your weights, your cans, wine bottles, or nothing at all. I'm gonna have you guys start in a wide second position. If this is uncomfortable, you know you can bring your feet underneath your hips. I'm hoping you can hear the music. Give me a thumbs up and I'll come check in a sec. Reach your weights off the tops of your quads, sink a little bit lower. Take a little bit of a bend in your elbows and just start to squeeze, 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 squeeze. If you want to add a little baby pulse down, just to work a little bit more intensely from your feet all the way up. Roll your shoulders up, down and back. Keep pushing down and squeezing your biceps. So even if you guys don't have weights, you're still gonna feel it straight through your biceps. They're gonna contract as you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good morning if you're just signing in. Squeeze, squeeze. We're gonna go into full range. Give me 20 more. Seven, six, keep pulsing. Again, if your feet are uncomfortable, if you're uncomfortable in your hips, walk your feet underneath your hips rather than a wide second. Ten more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stick it low, full range. Just start to walk your weights in front of you. Maybe turn them into hammer curls all the way in and out. At your own pace, you can work off the beat of the music. Come a little bit higher if you need to. Burn out your biceps. We'll be doing some more push-ups later on. A few more here. We're gonna go into your shoulders next. All right. Go ahead and walk your feet underneath your hips. Soften your knees, grip your booty, keep a little bend at your navel. Bring your weights to the tops of your quads and start to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Straight arms, pushing all the way out through your knuckles. Lift and lower. Soft bend in your knees, avoid locking your knees out. I level the heart, squeeze your booty again. A little bend in your navel, a little upright crunch. Lift and lower. A few more, then hold your weights directly off your shoulders. Last time, hold it here, little pulse. Up, up, up. Let it burn, try to keep your arms straight. Pull your shoulders away from your ears rather than letting them punch up. Little up, little up, little up. Good. Up, down, up, down. The pulses are what burn the most. Keep going. Again, even if you guys don't have weights, you can still get a nice uh, contraction right through the tops of your shoulders. That pretty deltoid right through the top of your arm. Keep pulsing. Eight more times. Six, five, four. Three, two, bend your elbows. Open and close. Open and close. Open and close. Hold your arms out wide. Four more. Keep going. Last time, hold it here, little pulse. Up, up, up. Breathe, you guys. Soften your knees. Pretend I'm walking around making sure that you have that little bend. Squeeze your butt again and keep everything nice and tight in your core from now until the end of class. Keep pulsing up eight more times. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, pull, reach, pull, and reach. Back behind you, reach up, back and up. Squeeze, squeeze, good. Squeeze, a few more times, then hold your weights right up at shoulder height. Last squeeze, hold it here, pulse up, up, up. Everybody can hear me okay? Keep going, little up, little up, little up. Awesome, you guys. Hey, Nancy, yay. So happy to have you. Keep that little bend in your elbows, you guys. Keep pulsing up. Up, up, up. Tasia, I see you. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. All right, hold it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hold your elbows in front, four more. 
I have to keep track of time, you guys. A couple more. Last time, hold it here. Pulse up, up, up. Little baby up. Keep going in those pulses, no cheating. Keep going, you guys. Pull your shoulders away from here. Shut your eyes if you need to. You're 45 minutes out of this day, okay? Keep going. I don't care if you're isolated all day. Sometimes you still are busy, especially with everybody at home. So hopefully you've carved out a little corner of your house to just take this 45 minutes just for you. All right, from here, pull, bring it up. Down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Hold it high. Right now, push up and down. Little up, little down. A couple sets of pulses and then we're gonna move on. Up and down, little up, little down. You guys, good, keep going. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, and down. Hey, Kate. Up and down, is Parker joining? Little up, little down, good. Up and down, four more. Up, down, up. Down. You've got two more. Last time, lengthen your arms. Pulse up. Up, up. I love the hearts. Little up, little up. Okay, two more sets of pulses and then we're moving on. Eight more times. Six, five, four, three, two. Open and close. Open and close. Hold your arms out wide. Right now, pulse up, 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 good. Second last thing, keep pulsing up, let it burn, let it burn. Let me keep track of time, keep pulsing up, keep going, keep going. We're good on time, eight more times. Six, five, four, pushing all the way up through your knuckles. Bend your elbows, keep pulsing up, 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 good. So now you guys know you can pick up your weights here at Kings later in the day if you want more of a burn. Just to catch your upper body a little bit more. Last eight, seven, six. We're gonna do triceps next. Four, three, two. Go ahead and bring your arms down. Roll your shoulders up, down and back. And from here, soften your knees. Hinge forward, reach your weights up and lift. Lift, lift. So, you have a flat low back here, you're sticking your butt out, pull your shoulder tips back as you lift your straightest arms up above your hips. A little up, a little up. And then you're gonna reach your gaze in front at a slight diagonal line. Straight arms, straight arms, straight arms. A little up, up, up. We're moving on in a minute. Second to last thing, keep going, you guys. Little lift, little lift, little lift. Keep going. 15 more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, five more in the little bend stretch. Hold it high, little stretch, stretch, stretch. Teeny tiny bend, it's not a big flopping motion, teeny tiny. Bend, extend. Give a soft bend in your knees, you're reaching your booty out behind you. Pull your shoulder tips back, stretch, stretch. Stretch to feel really good, you guys, through your upper back, working a lot more muscle groups than you think. Stretch it out, last 15, and then we move on. A little bit of a stretch. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go ahead and stand up. Take your weights, bring them up and over, put your elbows in and up. Set your weights down. Come back down for some push-ups. Modify if you need to. Down, up, down, and up. Down, up, down, up. Good. Down, big push. 15 more, and then a down dog. Couple more here, you guys. Keep going. Final 10. Down, big push. Down, big push. Down, exhale three. Down, push four. Keep going. Down. Five, drop to your knees if you need to, or maybe come to the balls of your feet for your last five. Down, big push. Down, big push. Remember what I said, these are full body. Super effective. Tighten up your core, roll your hips up and under. Don't let your booty drop. A couple more to finish. Last time, down dog. Okay, walk your feet forward. We are moving on 
two forward. Everybody, everybody hear me okay? All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna have you guys find your prop, maybe you're using a chair, okay? So you can use a chair. I have a bar, but a chair is sufficient. So I'm gonna have you guys start with your feet hip with them parallel. Go ahead and lift your heels, bend your knees, and find that spot where you shake and burn. If your heels start to drop, you're gonna lose the intensity through the top of your quads. If they come up too high, you're gonna lose the intensity. Find where you shake right off the bat. Here we go, it's up and down, up and down. Little up, little down. Good, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, up and down. I know I say this every time, I said it last time, I did the like class, make it your own. It could be up a little bit bigger, drop lower, up and drop, or teeny tiny. Barely moving. Little up, little down. Up and down. Good. Just get the burn going. Up and down. Up and down. Don't worry. I'm keeping track of time. Up and down. We're going to go ahead and bang out all three sets of thigh. Right at the start, you guys. Get your heart rate up. Starting to burn some calories. Little up, little down. There's the beat right behind me. Hopefully you guys can hear it. Find it and move. Up and down. Now, if you want to start to literally make it bigger, come almost all the way up and drop. Up and drop. Up and drop. Good. Moving straight up and down, whether then leaning forward or leaning back. Pretend you have something on the top of your head. Up and drop. Up. And drop again. It's okay if your prop, your chair is lower too. Or higher just as long as you have something to bolt on to. You've got two things to finish in this set. A little bit quicker than a regular class. Because I know we're all having trouble finding that privacy or more than 45 minutes. Up and drop. We've got eight more here. Up and drop. Up and drop. Check guys if you need to. Take the tension out of your shoulders. Up and drop. Good. Four more. Up and drop. I feel like you guys are with me. Two more. Hold it here. Tuck your right cheek, then your left cheek. Right and left. It's a squeeze and a squeeze rather than a swivel and a swivel. We'll get there like a squeeze. Squeeze right, squeeze left. Right and left. Right and left. Good. Right and left. So kind of getting into that mind-body connection, squeezing cheek to cheek, making it super teeny, really just focusing on the tops of your quads as kind of a distraction, getting your glutes warmed up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Go ahead, little squeeze, little squeeze. Start to drop a little bit lower, get down and squeeze, squeeze. Bring your hips center. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Little squeeze and tuck, squeeze and tuck. Stay in it. Just because I'm coming out of it doesn't mean you do. Squeeze and tuck, squeeze and tuck. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Little squeeze, tuck, squeeze, tuck. Good. It's fun that you guys can talk to each other too on this, I okay? Just like we're all in class together. Squeeze, tuck, squeeze, tuck. Second last thing. Give me 50 more. That's two, three, four. You've got 10 more. Maybe drop a little bit lower. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Release your tuck. Push down, down, down. Good. Straight down. Drive it down. Come lower. Knowing this is your last move here. You can bring one arm up. Final 20. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep going. Four, three, two. Last 10, you guys. And then we change it up to flat feet. Final five. Push it, you guys. 
stand it up. Uh, let's see, maybe you have your prop in front of you if you need it, so maybe swing your chair in front of you. Otherwise, I'm just going to demonstrate without anything facing you guys. Come into a wide second position, either holding on your prop, bring your hands to prayer, or to your hips from here, just posting on. Down, down. You should feel comfy on, after having lifted heels. Push down, push down, come a little bit closer. Down, down, down. We're going to be doing some lunges as well. So again, your hands are here, here, or on your prop. Whatever feels best, you can also bring them all the way up overhead. Slow it down, it's down and up, down and up. Sometimes when you bring your arms up, though, it kind of hunches your shoulders up to pull them down away from your ears, up and down. Again, you can make this teeny tiny or go a little bit bigger. Up and drop, up and drop. We'll go into some lunges. Up and drop. And remember, your seat work is going to be on your mat today, so make the most of being upright. You've got eight more, and we'll go into your lunges. That's seven. Up, drop, six. Five, squeeze your booty. Couple more. Three. Last two, we're going to lift your left heel up and turn towards the right, okay? Make sure your left knee is underneath your head. Push down and up, down and up. Looking straight ahead, pull your shoulders away from your ears. You can bring your hands into prayer or to your hips. Feel this intensely, primarily through the tops of your quads again, really feeling it in your left side. Down and up, down and up. Good. Little down, little up. Down and up. Good. Exhale. Exhale. Little down, little up. Go a little quicker now. Pulse, pulse, pulse. The music's coming. You're just going to stay in it. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Maybe you're here. Again, I'm going to go through these lunges pretty quickly today, you guys. Make your core nice and tight. You've got 20 more. Then we're going to come back through center and get the other side. 15 more. Two. Plus 10 on this side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come back through center. Push down. Make it kind of balancing. Down and up. Down and up. Have fun with it, you guys. Down and up. Pulse down, down, down. Go the other side of lunges. Little down. Just 10 more here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift your right heel up. Turn towards the other side, aligning your knee right underneath your head. It's down and up. Little down, little up. Down and up. Good. Down and up. Again, remember form and safety first. It's not a big long lunge. You're working at the tops of your quads. So again, find your alignment with your knee underneath your head and start to just pulse it down. Last thing for this set, and then we move on to your final set of thigh and come down to your mat to finish up class. Down, down, down. Final 15. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Stand it up. Uh, find your prop again wherever you're using it. You can again put it right in front of you or hold on to something on the side here. We're going to move in to turn to out high, so bring your heels to touch. Squeeze your booty. You can lift your heels again and walk your heels all the way to touch. Squeeze your seat and bend your knees. From here, we'll just go right into that. Up and down. Up and down. Little up. Again. I know the music's a little bit soft right now. A little up, a little down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Find your shake, find your burn. My favorite 
kind of flatter do just because it's so, so effective. Working all the way around your quads, starting to get the center of your seat warmed up, you're working your posture again, keep your navel pulled all the way back, keep it nice and tight, mostly to protect everything, but also to get that extra burn, okay? Keep moving. Again, tie around if you want to make it a little bit bigger, you can off and down or teeny tiny down it at your lowest range of motion. A few more here, and then we're going to move slowly down for two and up for two. You've got four more here. And this is your last set of play, you guys. Two more. Last time, hold. Move down, down, and up, up. Slide all the way down. Halfway up. Slide all the way down. Halfway up. Slide all the way down. Halfway up. Good. Should really be burning. At least it is for me. Slide all the way down. Halfway up in two. It's down. Halfway up. Slide down. Halfway up. I hope you guys are all still in it. Down. Halfway up. Slide down. Halfway up. Four more. Slide down. Halfway up. Slide down. Halfway up. Two more. I think it's kind of lost count. Hold it here. Here's that swivel. Side to side. Squeeze. Side to side. Can we get into your obliques a little bit? Just squeeze side to side. Come a little bit lower. You can drive it down for two and up for two or just hold it halfway. And go side to side, all about your hips, all about your obliques. Side to side, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Second to last thing, guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Side to side, the music's coming, keep going. Side to side, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I'm gonna save some time for abs, so like I said, second to last thing, just give me time to walk. We've got booty work coming up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Center your hips and push down, down, down. Come low, squeeze your heels tight to touch. Drive it down, drive it down, drive it down. Push, push, push. Last 20. Eight, seven, six. I'm trusting you guys are all in it. Keep going, keep going. Last 10 counts in all of five. Seven, six, five, four. Drop a little bit lower. Last couple. Stand it up. Okay, guys, go ahead and stretch out your quads very quickly. Take hold of, I put my right ankle clear like in and back. Stretch so up the top of your quad. Add a little pressure. Top of your foot into your palm. Get both sides. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna have you guys come down to go ahead and get your towel, mat, whatever it is you guys are using today. I'm gonna have you guys come all the way down. I'm gonna start on your right side. If you have one of those red bands, those little tight bands, um, you can use it. Um, I still think this is effective without. I'm gonna have you guys come to your forearm and then put your knees up to about 45 degrees, just good old fashioned claim here. Lift your toes up and then kind of add a little bit of pressure as you push your torso up a little bit. Okay, so that'll get into your legs. From here, just lift your leg up, slowly lower it down. Lift up, lower down. Lift up, lower down. Up, up, and down, down. Good. hard or uncomfortable, you can always come down like this. I'm more concerned about the side of your seat right now, or you can even lay all the way down. You're going to get a little bit more of a burn up on your forearm, of course. Try to be a little bit more upright. Start to speed it up. It's lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, and lower. Let it burn. Lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Keep going. So yeah, a couple things you could probably get on Amazon. I know Fernanda, if you guys take her class every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10. Um, on Friday, I think she has you guys 
using the red band. So that would be something really cheap on Amazon. Um, maybe a little set of weights um, and a mat. Um, just to make your workouts a little bit harder while you're at home. Good, keep going and pull it. I've got eight more. I'm feeling it, even without an extra prop. Just using your own body resistance. Four more. Keep going, good. And again, this is safe and effective for everybody with any kind of upper body issues. Again, you can be laying flat. You're gonna hold it high a couple more. Hold it high and lift, lift. Lift little presses back. Also, you can bring your, uh, it makes it a little bit easier with your toes down. You're still gonna get the burn in the side of your seat. This is the hardest right here though. Also with the little loop too. Press, press, press. Um, one more thing after this, and then we're gonna come to all fours. Kind of get to the back of your butt a little bit. Press, 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 let it burn. Maybe give me a thumbs up if you guys are feeling this. Let me know. And then also any kind of um, suggestions you might have for Friday's class at 9. Anything you guys want to do. Um, suggestions on music and my voice and how you can hear everything. So keep going. Keep pressing back. And then full range. Eight more here. Four. Three. Two. Lower and left. Making our hips super strong, super sculpted. Everything looking long and lean. Lift and lower. So yeah, stick around after this. What day is it? I'm losing track. It's Wednesday, so for me it is up after me. Um, a bit more, um, should have a little bit more cardio going on. Okay, last eight. And then we're on all fours. Still working your right side. Six to go. Maybe push up a little bit more. Getting into our plate. Final four. Last two. Keep going. Last time. And lower down. Okay, come to all fours. If this is uncomfortable on your wrist, you can always pull it down like this. But try here and avoid arching your back. Okay, so give yourself a little rib cage tuck. Extend your right leg back behind you. Maybe a little bit more forward here so you can see. Straight leg up, up, up. Kind of bring your gaze out of that line. And we're going to tuck in your chin there and keep your air passage open. You can keep a soft bend in your elbows, and like I said, come down to your forearms. Up, up, up. So, all about the squeezing your booty. Again, really um, nice to switch from. Uh, having a standing leg to worry about. So we're, like I said, doing seat work today. Friday will be more upright seat work. Keep lifting. And then we'll change it up and make it a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna keep everything pretty teeny. A little up, up, up. Add a little stretch. It is up and stretch. Up and stretch. Up and stretch. Lift, stretch, lift, and stretch. Getting right into the smile line of your booty. Lift and stretch. Pull your navel all the way back. Lift and stretch. Up, stretch. A couple more here again if you're getting uncomfortable on your wrist. And you just don't have the proper padding, you can come down your forearms. Again, wherever you're going to feel it through. I'm working my rear pedal, you're working your right foot too. Hold it high, little stretch, stretch, stretch. A few more here and then we'll bend your leg and we'll flip over and get your left side. Stretch, stretch, stretch. 10 more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Go ahead and bend your leg in half and squeeze your heel to your seat. Rip cage tuck, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Second to last move right here. Burn out your hamstring. Make it nice and crampy. Always good to have a nice strong hamstring to prevent injuries. And also looks really nice. Holding up your little glute. Keep squeezing. We've got about 15 more. Keep going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. 10 more and then we'll lift and finish. You can choose whether to lift a straight leg or a bent leg. 
five, four, three, two, lift, up, up, up. Pull your shoulders away from your ears, burn it out. Let's wrap it up in a 15. Keep going. Final 10. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lower down, take a quick stretch for this side. Kind of wiggle your booty. Other side. Lots of cover in a short amount of time. Okay, guys, pull your knees up to about 45 degrees. Lift your toes. Lift, lift, lower, lower. It's up, lower, down, down. I know all of you guys can do this from home. It's kind of nice you don't have to have a bar or anything, just a little piece of carpet, a mat, a towel. And you're gonna burn pretty quickly. Lift, lift, lower. Lower a few more slow. If you guys have water, you can take a sip at any time. Two more slow, and then we'll single it out. Here we go. It's up, down, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Good. Really press back at the top. Avoid letting the hips rock back. Keep them nice and stacked. Again, push away from your mat or the ground. Even if you have to have your hand on your hip to keep everything nice and stacked. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Keep going. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Awesome, you guys. I wish I knew more of your, like, little, your full names came up. All right, a few more. And then we're going to roll it up. Give me eight more. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Just back. 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 Little press is back. Second last thing, let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. And again, I'm gonna be moving straight into ab work. You guys can kind of keep doing your abs for the end, even as I wrap up class. But I'll get you going in a few different moves. We've got about 10 more, let it burn, let it burn. If you haven't already, maybe come up to a bit more challenging spot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You lower and lift, lower, lift. Final move here, you guys. Up, down. Need to finish. Seven, six, five. Then we're on all fours. Into last time. Flip it over. Go ahead and extend your left leg out behind you. Up, up, up. I want you guys to really squeeze through your left quad. Now to kind of get around, like I said, the meaty part of your butt. Up, up, up. Lift, lift, lift. Put your ass all the way, nice and tight. Almost like a little bit of pitch tuck. Add a stretch is up and stretch. Lift. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend your leg in half, squeeze your heel your seat. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Suggestions for class. Uh, you can DM me or uh, let for you know on this uh, site. But I'm going to put this all in seven to seven. Tighten your squeeze and just lift straight up, straight or bent leg to wrap it up and then we'll go straight into abs and we get two guys going. So I can end up on left. Left. Go ahead and wrap it up with 15. My butt's spinning it. I sure hope yours is. Final 10. Left. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Take a stretch. Okay, you guys. Let's get ready. You should have your mat and prop already out. So we're going to go straight into your ab work. I'm going to have you guys sit so that your glutes are on the mat. Roll your hips up and under and bend forward. Kind of making a little rounded up C shape in your core. So you have a nice tight tuck for your butt. Hold on. Start to breathe. Breathe. From here, bring your hands to prayer. You can lift your toes away and just start to reach. Actually, reach. Reach. I think it's actually better with your feet down. Squeeze. 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 So you're just working the right side. Squeeze. 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 Another modification. Keep going if you're just working the right oblique. You can just twist side to side. You can even have a weight here. Actually, let's just, yeah, if you just want to prefer to do this, that's fine. It's not a big, heavy twist, just a subtle little twist where your feet are down or you're, you're here. Just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Do eight more. Seven, six, five. Or you can hold on here. Four, three, two. Reset at the other side. Start to pull back on your left side now. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A lot of you guys have done this. Um, or we have the two looped over the bar. I don't know whether anybody has a situation where they can do that. But where you're Pulling on that red shoe. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. But this is something you can do anywhere. Eight more. Six, five, four, three, two. Back to center. I'm gonna have to wrap up pretty soon, you guys. We're just gonna go side to side. Put all the push and twist. Switch, switch, switch. Everything's nice and tight for your core. Switch, switch, switch. Side to side. Whatever feels good, you don't even have to have a weight. We're just gonna go into some crunches after this. 15 more, four, three, two, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set your prop down, I'm gonna have you guys do crunches. We did these last week, and then you can keep moving back to end class and have you just crunch, crunch. Crunch. Super effective. You can have your legs up if you'd like, or all the way up. Keep crunching, and then we're going to have you guys lift your legs wherever you're at. Maybe they're already extended. Keep crunching, crunching, getting right into your six pack. Crunch, crunch, crunch. So keep moving. I'm going to start to just kind of wrap things up here. I'm going to give you guys some, um, a few setups to finish. Yay! Hey, Nancy. Good. Yay. Um, okay, keep going. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Good. Crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, go ahead and extend your legs up to a pike position. And remember, stick around if you guys want. Fernanda's class is at 10 right after this. You can take a little bit of break, a water break. Okay, from here, start to just reach. Reach, reach. As usual, I'm out of time. Keep going here, and then I'm gonna have you turn it in bicycles, and then you 
you guys can kind of do your own ab work to finish. Just reach it up, 20 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep going, 15 more, you guys. I'll be back with you guys on Friday at nine. So like I said, if you have any suggestions, send them my way, um, keep reaching, and then turn it into a bicycle switch, switch, switch. Maybe you guys can get about five minutes more of abs in. Try to stay here for about 50 counts. And just keep going. I'm gonna wrap it up. Again, stick around. Go ahead and finish up your ab work. I'm um, getting into obliques, maybe a few more crunches after this. Um, and that's it. I hope you had a good workout. And I'll look forward to seeing you guys Friday. Stick around for Fernandez class. And again, thanks so much to Art of Fitness for doing this for us today. Have a good one, you guys.